How's it going, everyone? Happy Saturday. Uh, it's going to be a fun weekend tomorrow. We're going to be doing a race review for the uh, the Clash at the Coliseum, which is going to be just something that we've never seen before, and I'm okay with that. I'm happy with it, guys. It's an, ex it's an exhibition race. If you have a problem with it, it, it genuinely does, it doesn't matter. It doesn't count. It's just... It's exhibition, it's for fun, it's entertainment, just let it be. Uh, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm excited to see how it goes. I'm excited just to get away from, you know, the South, country music, all this, the main, you know, stereotypes of NASCAR, and just go to L.A. and have Pitbull and Ice Cube perform and, and hopefully garner an atmosphere, uh, an atmosphere, get college students into the Coliseum, uh, that key that very key age demographic of 18 to 35 try to get more of those people interested in nascar uh, i'm very into it so we're gonna see how that race goes tomorrow uh, i'll be honest i'm not even looking more for the race i'm looking for atmosphere uh you know what well yeah that's the word atmosphere i'm looking for atmosphere i'm looking to see is everyone having a good time um you know the kind of the vibes is everyone just chilling you know what's going on that's that's what i'm looking at i'm not really i, I genuinely don't care what happens on track i think on track you're gonna see a lot of uh chaos but you know that that that's fine for me i, I don't really mind when it comes to an exhibition race so let's get into it we're back on nascar thunder 2004 we're gonna do two races today and then one in the final episode before we head to season two which is gonna be 25 percent races so it's gonna then go to one race per episode um you guys could vote on that if you want but i think the majority of people do want 25 percent races so I, I at the end of the next episode i will you know ask you guys about that but you know i, I think the majority do want 25 percent um so that's probably what we're going to go with uh let's go look at the team management we have some shop editions that we have to look at because uh we have completed one of the shop editions which you can see on the bottom of your screen is the engine dyno real quick I want to give a shout out to all the patreon supporters for always supporting the channel you guys the absolute best make sure I don't forget thank you very much uh, make sure you guys subscribe 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 as well so let's uh, you know I don't want to waste all your guys time here so let's get to the chassis we have how much money 2.06 million dollars let's go ahead and go to the garage real quick building a chassis repairing one engines repairing one we're not going to build another one not yet at least we're gonna wait for our you know trevor sanders over here his name there uh we're gonna wait for him to up to, to get upgraded and then build the new engine uh and then bodies overhauling and again we don't really have any new bodies and we're not going to make a new one we are just going to wait that is what we are going to do uh let me go ahead and see if i can maybe repair this uh overhaul it let's go ahead and repair oh i can't do it oh yeah because i already have something okay so we can't do anything in the engines we can't do anything in the bodies and we can't do anything in the chassis so we're kind of just all waiting right now which means 2.06 million let's go ahead to the chassis we're gonna upgrade the tire grip with the shock dyno and we're gonna make it 1.5 million put that in there we go uh since we have 561,000 left we don't really have to do anything right now so we were able to get the money in uh that was a good call by everyone in the sponsorship category because that's what we needed we have a 79 prestige in the primary a 76 in the secondary 79 79 and 78 is the sponsorship so everything's looking good right now and now let's go to phoenix which is sometimes good sometimes bad <laughs> it's, it's, it's sometimes maybe good sometimes maybe curse word um that, that's kind of what it, it is let's go check the standings real quick i think tony stewart is okay i think he will win the championship but uh it's still one bad race one blown engine and we'll see how it goes there for us uh, I would hope we moved up from 19th, and we did. We moved up to 18th, so we have a pretty decent gap on Benson, uh, and a pretty far gap. You know, a little less than 100, 90, what three points to Bill Elliott. It's uh, probably not going to get to him, but it's fine. Uh, change the paint scheme. If we're going to Phoenix, we're going to the desert. Uh, there's a lot of sand there, so let's just go with like a sandy color, a nice little cream for for sand. All right, that's that's what Phoenix is all about. I really like that color chassis for phoenix we're gonna go ahead with chassis number four it's better than one it's in 92 percent condition uh but it's better so we're gonna run it uh engine probably gonna be mm, do we save five do we save five for the next race or do we use four uh we have we're repairing but it's not gonna be as good eh, let's go ahead with five let's not save it we're gonna go ahead and run it um actually we just want to make sure for daytona we're gonna have a good engine right actually i'm gonna save well if we use four we can then overhaul four 
in two races time and four will be en will be ready for daytona so actually yeah what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use engine four so that way engine four will then get overhauled into the next season so we have two races left after this that that will be the engine that we use for daytona and that's going to be a very important race so let's go ahead and do that and then for the body uh we're probably going to use body number three uh for daytona so uh we're going to go ahead and, and use four because uh, we don't really got to do anything right now so uh car rating of 58 should be good enough let's go ah, i missed the apex in one and two that's not good and eh, uh, uh. i can't restart I wanted to restart. No, damn it. Uh, I, this could have been a really good lap. Let me see if I could maybe get one and two. Or three and four, which is technically one and two now. But it's... That's a terrible lap. That's really bad. Oh, wow. Don't tell me how close I was. Yeah. Guys, we could have qualified 15. I, I ran a 26-9. Oh my god, I ran a 26-9 in practice, and it would have been pole. Oh, that's completely my fault. I am so sorry. Wow. Uh, okay, well, I'm going to swallow my pride there, and that's $170,000 down the toilet, because I'm an idiot. All right, let's go to the race. Joe Moore and Barney Hall from the beautiful Arizona desert at the One Mile Phoenix International Raceway for today's Checker Auto Parts 500K. Barney, this is quite a unique track. Tell us about it. Boy, it's beautiful here, right at the base of the Australia Mountains, and this is quite an interesting racetrack. First, it's known as the world's fastest one mile oval. Add to that the fact that each corner is slightly different, and it all adds up to some great racing. Johnny Benson won the Bush Series championship in 1995. That championship was sandwiched between two Rookie of the Year awards. He won the Bush Series award in 1994, followed up his championship with Winston Cup Rookie Honors in 96. Jeremy Mayfield experienced an up-and-down year in 2000. He had 12 top 10s and four poles, but also had 11 DNFs. He was either running up front with the leaders or taking an early exit. Those wins are great, but each DNF is exactly the opposite and can take a driver out of a points race real quick. Kyle Petty has been struggling in his qualifying runs this year. Man, that's true. Maybe he likes having to pass all those cars on race day. I know I would prefer to start towards the front, and I'm sure he would too. But hey, he'll get there with some patience. Tony Stewart and Gordon are genuinely on crack because they've been starting 1-2 for the last however many races. I, I genuinely can't believe they're doing it, but they are. So, uh, guys, we have speed in this car. I ran a 26-9 in practice. It would have put us on pole. So, I know we got speed in it. I just got to, you know, get the get the speed right and, and be able to make some passes. Um, I'm confident in my abilities to do so. But uh, this is a very tight Phoenix racetrack, and there's the dive bomb in a three that I had a feeling would work. It worked in NASCAR Thunder 2003, and it is working in Thunder 2004. Sadler, get the heck out of my way. No one cares about you. You don't even have a driver picture. You just have a number. That's how sad you are. Oh, oh that was close. Yep, sorry, Jeff Burton. Kind of put you in the wall there. Well, you actually, you technically drove into the wall yourself, but it, it, I, I take some blame into that. Okay, we pass him. Johnny Benson is holding up this pack. He's at the front of it, and he's holding it up. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, yep, didn't realize you were there. I'm a, I'll break you in a three, though, so it doesn't matter. Uh, Kenny Wallace, get the heck out of my way. Get, shoo, shoo. I, I, I cannot afford, for, uh, Robbie Gordon's going to block too. <sighs> so we got to get around these guys somehow. All right, the ultimate dive bomb of Michael Waltrip, who looks like he wants to block. And we're going to just dive bomb him right there. Clear, beautiful move. And now we just got to get Kenny Wallace. It looks like Benson got passed by Mark Martin, Jr., Rusty Wallace, Matt Kenseth. Those are four guys that I'm not expecting to be able to race with. Again, we're just going to try to get right outside that top 10 area. And just like we did at Charlotte, uh, a.k.a. Lowe's, is just try to run right there and finish right there. So we, we know we can get Benson and Wallace. I think short pitting might be a good option here if we can escape not getting caught under yellow. Because uh, I do think tire wears a little bit of a deal here. How to get on the brakes as I put Benson in the wall. Sorry, buddy. Boy, how is Kenny Wallace passing Rusty Wallace? What is going on? That's not that's not how the world should work. 
But Kenny Wallace just passed his brother. What the? <laughs> How is that a 23 got speed? Okay, that's weird. We ran a 27.5 and I ran a really good lap. So yeah, I'm about 5 tenths off of what I would be on in fresh tires. Which is why I think short pitting would be very beneficial. Uh, but we'll see. I know some guys can usually take it pretty far on one on uh, without pitting. I think there might even be a glitch where you don't have to pit. Some, like one AI doesn't have to pit and you might win this race. So just keep an eye out for that. Hello, Mr. Wallace. Going to run you right up the track. A little bit of contact. Just saying hello. A little bit more contact. Just to say hello again. You know, give you a little bit of cake. Just courtesy. Maybe a little bit of hot tea if you want. And around we go. Don't hit the wall, which is way out there. And we are in a P11. All right. I feel like we could get Rusty Wallace, but we're going to have to take in some uh, pit stop strategy to do it. So this is where we got to think a little bit. I mean, I'm not, I don't want to be the first round of cars coming down pit road, but lap 15 is uh, maybe four, nah, 14 feels too early. 15 is probably where I'm looking at right now. And actually, we might be able to get around Rusty Wallace here in three and four because we're going to be able to drive it in pretty deep here. He is blocking, but we can drive it in pretty deep right through there. And that is going to be in the top 10. And now we should be able to get Kenseth too. I, I told you we can outbreak everyone in three and four. Matt Kenseth, that, that seems too far back, right? Nope, because here we come. Hello. Okay, that was a terrible move. That was terrible. I got to get going. I got to get going. I got to get going. Don't lose too many spots. Don't lose too many spots. Go, 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 go. Six to, okay. I got a little bit too cocky, a little bit too arrogant, and a little bit stupid, which is common knowledge on this channel, okay? And 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 we, we, we messed up. So now uh, I've, I've kind of screwed up. But we're fine. Everyone's going to come down pit road. This is just going to simplify things. Everyone will pit. I need my pit crew to just get me out. Sit. Wait, not everyone's pitting? Why? That is odd. This I've never seen this before. So we have half the field pitting and half the field not. Which is very... What are these guys going to do? Why are they doing that? I thought, I thought this was common knowledge that everyone's going to pit. But we're going to split the field in half. So maybe my mistake is actually a good thing. Uh, did Tony Stewart and Jeff Gordon do both did pit. So that's good news for the championship battle for those guys. But if we look, if we could just take a look at the cutscenes. Oh, what? Oh. Uh, uh, that was glitch. I don't know. I'm on a six second pit stop? What the hell? We're blocked in by the 43? The pit stop's all messed up. But it's, it's gonna that's not technically a 14.2. It's it's all it's going crazy now guys I don't know what's going on. The game is falling over its feet. We are behind Tony Stewart and Gordon's right behind us. What the What kind of sorcery is this? What? <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but we're in really good shape. Let's see what happens I feel like there's gonna be a lot of cars that pit here and I might get stuck being on the bottom lane No one's gonna pit. Okay, so they're just going to be weird about it. We need to follow Tony Stewart if we can. Gordon's right behind us. Sorry, Jeff. I'm not going to let you. Oh, God. Okay. Well, I might have to let. Nope. He's not going to get around me. All right. You can see just how fast that 20 car is. Gordon's going to be just as fast. We got to keep him behind us, unfortunately, because I need to be able to dive bomb three and four just like that. This time, let's not make contact with the car above us. And still nobody is pitting. I wonder if they can make it. I, 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 it'd be close. I think they're a few laps short. Oh, Rusty Wallace just killed me in a one. Ah, oh, God. This is why no one likes you. Like, genuinely, who is a Rusty Wallace fan? Someone tell me who, who like, why would you even be one? It, it's just, get back here, Rusty. Oh, God, no one. I'm putting you in the wall off of four. All right, it's just that, it's just, you deserve it, okay? Get in the wall. Get in the, no! How does that happen? How? How? Uh, look at oh god oh we're flipping okay hey oh you hit me again you prick no 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 if i get to you i'm destroying you i don't care i don't care about this result i don't care Hermie sather get on the curb get out of my way i'm getting to that two car get gordon i don't care if you're battling for a championship championship over get me to that two car oh people are pitting no oh god okay now we have two rivals we're behind two okay you want come hit me hit me you prick Hit me. Hit me. I dare you. Oh, what's going on? People are slowing down! Oh, God. 
What's going on? Get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way. Oh, Jerry Nadu's out of gas. He's in PA. He okay, now we got Rusty Wallace right behind us who wants to murder us in cold blood. We got more cars coming down pit road. My car is absolutely killed. And now we got Rusty Wallace who wants to kill me. I'm blocking. I'm blocking all the way down here. Uh-uh, you're not getting around me. Oh, God. Yep, there it goes. Yep, yep, he's going to kill me again. Yep, that's the third time he's done that. What a, what a just, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to hurt you. My right front is red, so I can't. I can't risk by, you know, I can't risk it. I can't, we'll get him next race, guys. Next race. I, I will say, I will literally sacrifice a race to get him. So, uh, it, it's fine. It's fine. We'll, we'll be okay. Minus 100 rival. It's okay, Rusty. It's okay. I'll come get you. You will go head on into the wall. I was not expecting this much chaos heading into Phoenix. Oh, God. Don't hit the right front. Oh, yeah. That, he's not even on the lead lap, Bill Elliott. <laughs> so, all right. We're going to come home and set. Somehow, that's actually an amazing result. So, we're going to come home seventh. But I have, I got things I got to do next race. I, I, I need to find that two car and just destroy him. I just, it, I will not be able to sleep at night unless I do it. I don't care where, that was a good result. Cool. Fantastic. I'm coming after that two car. Oh, we're headed to the rock. Good. Okay. That's good. I, I don't care where I finish. I, I care about destroying that two car. So uh, let's go ahead and repair or overhaul this chassis. Doesn't matter. We're going to go ahead and repair it for... 74,000 that will be ready for the race after Daytona because we're not probably going to use that at Daytona in the engine department Again, we're going to just hold off. Uh, we're going to go ahead and overhaul that. I know it's only plus one It matters. I want every little ounce of uh, Does this even does this technically matter does it guys? I need you to help me with something Should it matter making this a generic like it doesn't do anything to the rating so I'm just going to make a generic, but let me know. Let me know if that actually matters or not, because if it does, I'll, I will, you know, change things. Um, and for the body, we have a lot. Uh, four is fine. Three is going to be what we use for the 500. Two is probably needing to be overhauled or repaired. Now, let's go ahead and go ahead and repair the final one. Maybe use that at Daytona instead, and then maybe use three. Yeah, we'll use four at Daytona. Use two and three for now. That's going to be uh, what we do for now. Sponsor news, plus one on the primary, but the secondary... Oh, secondary went up too, even though we didn't qualify well. Okay. I'm finding the two car, and I'm destroying him. That's it. That, that's the only thing I care about doing in this race. Chassis is going to be chassis three. Engine, we're going to go ahead and use engine four is going to be used later. So we're going to go ahead and use engine five. Body, it's going to be body three. Let's go. 43rd on lap one. It wasn't even a bad lap. Okay, that's not a good sign. That was a okay lap. So guys, we're not going to be qualifying 15th because there's no way I'm gaining the time I need to gain. So it again, that was also a pretty okay lap. It wasn't great, but I mean, that was a pretty good three and four. It's going to be a 23-8. No, top 10. I went from 43rd to 5th. Wow. Okay. Where's the two car? Gordon's in first. Finally, they're not for one and two. He said Stewart's in, in, uh, in third. Where's the two? Where is he? Oh, where's... Come on, Rusty. Where are you? Oh, you got... You, you're in the back of the... Really? Really? He's in the back. 29... Where is the two car? 31st. 34th. 39th. He's 41st. Rusty Wallace is 41st. He's scared. We're live from the North Carolina Speedway, otherwise known as the Rock, site of today's NASCAR race, the Pop Secret 400, right here on MRN. Drivers say this place can be one difficult track to master. Well, this track is deceiving to drivers who are new here. It's wide and fast in most places, but in the corners, they'll have to slow up more than they expect. Otherwise, the wall will sneak up and bite them on the exit, especially in turn two. The Unical 76 car really stepped it up in qualifying this week. Man, let me tell you, I got to watch him make this qualifying run, and he was a very happy man when he got out of that car. Maybe this will turn this string of bad starts around. Ricky Rudd is always near the front at these speedways. Yeah, and I'm sure he's in for another great ride. Of course, what else is new? When we're at these tracks, he always seems to have a great race. Terry Labonte really hasn't qualified too well this year. Man, does this make getting a win tough. He has to be careful not to beat up the car as aerodynamics have become so important at these speedway tracks. That's not easy to do when you have the whole field starting in front of you.
Start your engine. Okay, but if I still see the two car, I'm, I'm wrecking him. I, I, he has to come back from 41st, so for now I'm going to run my normal race. But if I see him, I am wrecking him. I don't care if I wreck myself. I don't care if I wreck Dale Jr. I don't care if I tear down three and four and it goes up in flames. It's going to happen. And to be fair, I think we're going to be going backwards most of this race anyways, because I don't think we're going to have the race pace. I really don't know how we qualified fifth, so uh, we will see. I might be able to make a move on Bobby Labonte, depending on how deep I could drive it into one. Eh, no, probably not. I'm just going to stay right behind him. Okay. It's going to be tire management and just hoping that we don't get... Eh, we actually did pull away in one and two there. Maybe it's not as bad as I thought. Maybe we actually have more speed than I thought. Okay, what a boring start to this race. I've been alone. <laughs> Six laps in, nothing has happened. Sterling Marlin has got us. There's Kurt Busch. A little bit of a slide in three and four. I can't catch Jimmy Johnson. We're pulling away on corner exit every time. I'm just chilling. I have a feeling I'm not going to see the two car this race, which makes me a little bit sad. But I just, I guess we wait to see what the tire wear does. I think Sterling Marlin will probably get around us. He looks pretty quick. And now Jimmy is falling back. I'm not entirely sure. Wow. Like, genuinely, nothing has happened. We're all running in a line. I'm so sorry. I'd like to talk more and say stuff and try to give you guys some entertainment. Nothing's happening. I'm just running by myself. I can't do anything. I can't catch these guys and no one's catching me. So I'm going to keep trying. Like, I'm trying as hard as I can. Ooh, the right front tire's already won. It is lap 12. It's been <laughs> We're almost halfway through the race. I mean, Lord have mercy. This is also a very good sign for next season because the fact that we're now consistently the last few races competing around that top 10 area is is very good news especially when our entire team is going to get a massive upgrade in the off season i feel very confident we can win a lot of races next year uh but we're gonna have to run perfect races especially with it being 25 percent races like it's not like you can't fluke your way into it in a win like it's not like a caution coming out at the right time the race is gonna be too long for that so it's gonna have to be genuine speed that really gets us those race wins and it looks like we have caught Jimmy Johnson finally 15 laps into the race and we're going to try and make a move here in one a little bit of an overdrive to get past him and we clear okay now I mean we're running down Labani and Gordon which I've not been faster than these guys pretty much all season Jimmy is still trying to peek to my outside but he is behind us and we should be able to he's still peeking to the outside there we go we should be able to pull away okay now we got to decide when to pit. Lap 16, going to carry on a little bit longer, probably looking at lap 18 or 19. Lead cars are pitting, so the first guys are pitting, including second place looks like he pitted. Labonte's going to stay out. I'm going to pit. If there's only two cars, I mean, let me see if I can get the pass done first. Get the pass made. I don't think a caution would come out. Uh, no, there's there's a lot of cars on pit road. No, no, no. No, I, I can't. I can't pit this time by. There's way too many cars on pit road. That's like over half the field. So we got to stay out one more lap. Labonte's down low. He's going to pit. No, yeah, he is. He pitted. Okay, but too many cars. Way too many cars. We got to wait. I unfortunately might have to wait one more lap. There's still way too many cars on pit road. Can I get? Yeah, look at that. That's just no. All right. So we're going to be running it a little bit long, which is unfortunate. That's that's going to hurt us. Labonte's going to get around us. Jimmy's probably going to get around us. You know, I just passed Gordon. That's like the first time we've done that in this career. We got around Jeff Gordon. That's beautiful. But now pit road looks a little bit more quiet. And I got to find a way to pit now. So let me just try to get. Nope. Okay. All right. Go ahead. And down we go. And push, 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 push. 70 miles per hour. Uh, let's go. All four tires. No, we're all good. Little wedge. Nah, we're good. All right, let's go. Man, they haven't made a mistake in a very long time. It's coming. It, it has to be this race. It has to be. I, Guys, I'm betting $100. They're going to make a mistake. They're going to make a mistake. They're going to do it. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. The reverse jinx works. There we go. I never actually betted, never said anything, never actually did it. 17.2, beautiful pit stop. My, they're learning. I'm very proud of all of them. There goes Jimmy Johnson. There goes Bobby Labani. So, yeah, Jimmy gained a ton of time. Good Lord. Rusty Wallace. There he is. Uh, we also lost a few more spots, which is unfortunate. But uh, I don't think we're going to see Jimmy the rest of this. That, that's the, I, knew, I knew short pitting was the right thing to do, but as soon as it happened, you know, it would have been really bad coming down pit road with all that traffic. So, oh, well. It's, it's fine. 
Yeah, that short pit, or that long pit, or long stop, whatever you want to call it, definitely hurt Gordon, too. I mean, Gordon is, yeah, that's, that's bad. So, he's going to be the one that we have to try and keep up with, because we're not going to be able to pass him. He's on, what, two, three lap fresh tires than us. He has the freshest tires in the field, essentially. So, Gordon's going to be very quick, and then we're just hoping, I mean, I'm already losing time to the guys in front. We've lost our top ten position, which is unfortunate. We, we just got to hope for this tire wear to kick in. It's, we're not going to really see it till the final honestly five laps of the race so that's gonna be the time where we got to go I'm really hoping this lap traffic's able to do something we've actually been able to keep up with Gordon which is surprising here comes Ryan Newman what the hell kind of straight line speed is that how did you gain like two tenths on me down the back straightaway um, he's he's pressuring us on fresh tires but Gordon on fresher tires isn't going anywhere which is odd so if we're coming to 10 to go so now if we could just keep there's a pack of cars right in front of us. That I know Rudd is for position. I think Jeff Burton might be for position. If we could just get back in the top 10. That's really all I want is get back in the top 10. It's going to be a few more laps until we really see our tires kick in. So probably lap 34 is when we'll, we'll really start gaining time. Oh, the lap car is going to hold me up. <laughs> uh, that's not ideal. Uh, Bodine, can you get out of the way, please? Get, it, get out of the way. Get out of the way. Thank you very much. All right, uh, that's Jeff Burton. That should be for position. There's more lap cars around. There's a ton of just there's a ton of cars in front of us. So this is going to be very interesting. Burton is for position. Let's get him. Then a lap car, and we get right underneath him. Then Rudd's getting held up. So let's try to get to Ricky Rudd. We're not clear yet of the lap car. Put the lap car in the wall, actually, and that got Jeff Burton away from us. So that's good news. Okay, I, d I never touched him. I never touched the lap car. I just I just I just ran him out of room a little bit. I want to rattle his cage. That's all I wanted to do. Okay, uh, that is Fittipaldi. We should be able to get right behind Rudd now. So here we come into turn one. And might be able to get Bush. Nope, not going to be able to get Bush this time. Bye. Then there's LePage. There's a smoke. I can't see. Why is Fittipaldi trying to get underneath me? Got no idea. Kurt Bush. Give a little tap. And not going to be able to get around. I'm going to be able to get underneath him. Lap 34. This is where I thought it would start. And here we go. So let's get underneath Bush and get Rudd. And maybe get Gordon. Oh, uh, that was... He's not going to be my ally. He still is plus four, but that, that was a, a pretty bad move on my part. I apologize. But I got the seven. <laughs> so that's all that matters to me. Let's keep going. Lap cars out of the way. Out of the way. Do I see anyone else? Oh, nay, dude. Don't do this to me. Okay. Fine. You want to do this to me? I'm still going to get underneath you. <laughs> oh, please don't wreck. Okay, thank God. <sighs> yeah, I don't care. He's blocking me as a lap car. I don't care if he owes me one or not. No, 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 no. You stay back. You hold everyone else up, okay? Let me go on with my race. All right, who's the next lead lap car? Who is it? Mark Martin. He is two seconds ahead. I don't think we're going to catch him. Yeah. Oof. All right. I'll, t I'll take a seventh. I mean, that's not... That, why am I complaining? That, that's a very good result. Yeah. I'll, uh, no. No! What was that? Save it. Okay. God, why? Why? That has not happened all race. What? That was an amazing save. Let's just take a moment to applaud the save. Good lord. Uh, but that scared the living hell out of me. Oh, boy. Yep, now my car. Oh, that, okay. That was a weird checkup by Kurt Busch, but I'll take it. All right, just one lap left. Let's just finish this out. Come on. Nice and easy in a one. The rear tires are actually shot now because I slid them for 55 years. All right, get to seventh. Come on, let's just bring it home, bring it home, bring it home. This is going to be... We're not going to get a good result in the final race because Homestead's very difficult, but... It, wait, isn't it the new Homestead, though, on this game? If it's the new Homestead, maybe it's not difficult. I'm not entirely sure. It might be the new Homestead. Okay, it's going to be... Whee, a seventh place. I'll take it. But I didn't see Rusty Wallace, and I didn't wreck him, so I'm still a little bit angry. Tony Stewart wins again. He's locked up. The, ch the championship is over. Tony Stewart won. I think it might actually, it might be mathematically over. Uh, we need to check that actually. What is the most points you can get in a, you could get 175. He got 185 this race while Gordon got 147. And then last place gets, what's the amount last place gets? He gets 30. It's over. It's over. I think Tony Stewart locked it up. So Tony Stewart needs at least like 153, 160, I think. And he has it. 220. Oh, yeah, he definitely has it. You're champion in the first season, which they haven't put the little trophy yet. But he's going to be technically back-to-back -back champion uh, with one of the most ridiculous seasons I've ever seen in my life in a 5.3. We're going to talk about that in the end of the next episode. That's, that is stupid, the amount of points he has. 
But uh, for us, we are now in... No, still 18th. I still have not caught Bill Elliott. We're only nine points behind. Probably not going to get him at Homestead because we suck there. Guys, I will see you tomorrow. We're going to be talking about the Clash tomorrow. Uh, and then we'll finish this out probably on Tuesday. So I'll see you guys then. Take care of yourself. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new. Comment down below. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Enjoy your weekend. And it uh, should be a very interesting race tomorrow. Peace out.